What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Shiner716 here, back still playing some more Frambo. Ah, uh, if you guys remember, Itward went and locked me in a freaking room and took my cat. Now I'm about to go after him. So let's do this, shall we? Where's my flashlight? Okay. Oh, maybe that's it. Surprise, friend! Happy birthday! Oh, a birthday party? Whoa, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me! We lied in order to keep our attention in the other direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. I wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. Alright. Thank you, kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Itward, sir. The cake is made of all gradients you like. Miss Midnight told me which ones. Tuna. Um, seafood melody. Friskies, Friskers, whatever it is, you know. <laughs> oh, Mr. Midnight, you're up scaring you! Oh, we have something very special for you, friend. From all the members of the ship. That means all of us, naturally born or have my beings. There you go. Hope you find it educational. Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Ja! Go ahead, open it up. Aww. It's a kitty. Oh, thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give you always a new perception. You know, like the old reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is the alter reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanations? Duh! Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the alter reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, this exact coordinate of time and space, we're having a birthday party. In the alter reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, just invisible to the human eye. It's because of time, humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things in encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I say? I'm not sure, sir. I think, maybe, I feel a bit dizzy. Haha, <laughs> there might be a ship going up and down. Blow on the candles now, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to get home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we're about to arrive. It's not lovely. Really? Wow, how exciting. Alright. Here I go. Uh oh, that can't be good. Oh no, 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 no. Oh dear, what's happening? Mr. Midnight, are you okay? I'm alright, Fran. I hope the ship won't break. Sounds dangerous. Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There's one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it. Find it fast. How do I do that, sir? Water. That cleanses... That cleans that. Hurry up, now. Remember, I may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, kitty. I'm scared. Me too, Fran. We have to find the Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. 
Alright, so I have water. Is there still water in here? It's empty, okay. Um, 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 where do we get water? We don't even get water from here. Can we? gonna work okay uh, maybe upstairs cuz you know I had like the water pump up there or whatever there we go good thinking friend all right let's head on back down okay let's try finding this guy Nope, not here. Another area there. You. This son of a bitch. Mm, gangster, gangster. Ah, don't run away. Where are you going? I'm crazy. Trip, trip, trip. Yeah. And what? Okay. Nope. Gotta turn it one more time. There we go. I thought you would come out of son of a bitch. Yes. That's right, that's right. I'm what you gonna do, Papa. We can wait to the west, man. Let's get back to it. We're gonna stop tripping because it where looks freaking creepy when you trip. Or when we trip. Alright. It where, sir. We did it. The Kamala is gone. It's gone, yes. It's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We're going down! No, please, don't tell me this. It's not fair. Not fair! <laughs> We're never going home. <laughs> oh, it's okay, you, my dear. Aww. So sweet. And the ship was going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. The end. Well, that is a very sad ending, Edward. Tell me another story, please. Alright. This is the story of Fran Bell and me. She promised never to forget me. What about the magic of everything? He, I promise it, word. I'll never forget you. I am so confused. Good. Now it's time to sleep. Spot me in your dreams, my friend. Chapter 4, Part 2, Doctor's Prescription. Edward? Oh, Kitty. We're alive. We survived the crash. Oh, Dear, yes, we're alive. Hmm. But Edward is gone. But he brought us home. We're outside the town. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? We're already home? I thought you'd be happier about it. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Edward is. I wish I could say goodbye. 
Maybe you could take the medicine to see him again. Yes, kitty. I took all the pills already, you see? The bottle's empty. Oh, no. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe it will come to me someday. Mr. Midnight. I would end it here, just because we did just start a new one. But we're only ten minutes in. Hmm, should I be nice and keep going just a little bit longer? Or should I leave you guys with a major cliffhanger? I'll be nice. Oh my goodness, this is our street, kitty. Hey, street. Yes, it is. Is this our house? No? Okay. Is this it? Is this our house? And here we are. This looks much more gray than I remember. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. There's a window open. Aunt Grace? Hello? Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have a key to go inside? No, I don't have it, kitty. I know there's a key hidden somewhere. Just need to remember where to look. Let's find it. Okay, um... If I were a key, well, what up? Any mini money you Nope You no okay you oh says I took the key the key signed Fran Fran that's me Yeah what but I haven't taken the key and I didn't write that note This is all so confusing what should I do now? Can we climb? Come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I can't find the key. Seems that I already took it. You already took the key. But you don't have it. That sounds very strange. Yes, it is very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now, in order to get inside, kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Ugh. Alright then. Wish me luck. You can do it, kitty. Be careful. Why can't we climb this? Why? Because I can't because I'm on my way. Oh. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me, kitty? Open the door. Oh no! Dr. Darren! Fran! I can't, I can't believe this. You are alive! Where were you? I hope I'm getting that voice right, you guys. It's been so long. Dr. Dearn, I'm fine. Please don't take me back to the asylum. They've been looking for you for a long time now. How did you escape? I escaped through the yellow door, sir. Hmm. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight's inside now. He climbed through the... W he climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. What? Mr. Midnight? Isn't that your missing cat? <clears throat> I have a feeling I'm getting that voice wrong. Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you are here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. <clears throat> Definitely getting that wrong. I think I want to go German. I don't think I'm hitting German. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. That just makes him sound like Dracula. Why can't I get his voice now? No, I won't leave my kitty again. 
Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. Okay. This is... I'm sorry, friend. I don't want to hurt us. I don't want to hurt or scare you. Well, you already left a big giant bruise on my arm. Calling child services on you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. He made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about that? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I sound, I sound like I'm freaking the count. One little Fran. Ah, ah, ah. <clears throat> I want to go like Sigmund Freud, but I think I'm fucking it up. I have found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Alright, let's see here. Uh, family murder on Haney Street. The bodies were perfectly sliced. Martin and Lucia Bo Dagenhart were found early this week, brutally murdered in a residence on Hay Street. The investigating police officer, Mark Ahoma, said it seems the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. There were also no signs of struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister. The police didn't con didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Frambo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. What? Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Frambo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents' murder. What? Beloved Frambo. Friends, now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. What? What? Oh, mommy, I recognize your hand. I'm not dead. I'm not free from all pain. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. We also found that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant to do it in. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplomotin were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplatomin creates a door between the subconscious and the conscious. The problem is, if the, if the ectoplomotin is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes! <laughs> I say so. I think I'm starting to catch on maybe a little bit here. Well, that's because of all the new things I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the alter reality, sir. I can also travel into other worlds. Alter reality? That must be consequences of duty, nothing more. That is not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, friend. Well, in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean that you are imagining things. That's all. That's all I mean. I tried to tell my mother the truth. But father would harm her as well. 
I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arm said. <sighs> oh, did your father harm you with his knife, Doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true! Oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. Sir, at the moment she knew that about me, I think I'll be like, Okay, little girl, there's... Yeah. I don't know how you did that, little freak. Let's go make money off of you. You're gonna go be a psychic. I wonder who is behind all this. The nurses, Oswald, who knows? I do know, sir. It's a big black monster, Remore. He took my parents and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in a third cell with Palantris and the Great Wizard. <laughs> what are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Palantris. You know, my kitty is all alone. Palantris? Itward? Please, Fran. Palantris is the doctor of Athursa. He's a flying creature. Very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with this machine. You seems you have been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't, all, it wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara Mia case. Two girls in the asylum that claimed they saw a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you're a misstanding, sir. It's it word. What happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sold them together. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died, and their bodies were thrown into a well. That is awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those who are responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Palantris was right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. That's not creepy. Ripping Angel, don't look away. Don't blink. Here we are. But this is the cemetery. Oh. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Recording for way too long, you guys. Anyway, that's where I'm going to go ahead and stop this one. Um, if you guys liked it, please let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to smack that like button. And if you guys are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoy the content, and as always, I will see all you beautiful people in the next video. Peace. So we draw a penis on Blink's head. Or is that like a stick figure? Right here. Yeah. What is that? Is that a gun?